Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Good to have you with us. I'm Ernie Johnson. In this game, we'll see the Chicago Bulls against the San Antonio Spurs. And we go out now to San Antonio. Here's Kevin Harlan. It's time for the NBA. Live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And joining us in a bit later from the sidelines, Doris Burke. Our starting lineup to look at the matchups here and who we'll see for our starting five for both teams. Okay, first for the Bulls. D. Rose and Jimmy Butler at the back. And down low, the two-time NCAA champion at Florida. The 6 tornado of energy and effort. It's the big man, Joakim Noah. Then there's Dunleavy, and it's Gasol at the fourth. And for San Antonio, Parker and Danny Green are your one and your two. And in the middle, one of the best ever to man the low block, the big fundamental, number 21, Tim Duncan. Then there's Kawhi Leonard, and it's Aldridge in at the fourth. Bulls always seem to be tough on the road, and last season no different. They would end with 23 road wins on the year. And that number was good enough for the second most in the East. Unlike shooting, it's very hard for defenses to go cold, and that's why the Bulls have been so good on the road. And in Chicago to start out. Outside Rose. Inside to Gasol. And out of bounds is San Antonio gains possession. And guys, touching back on the Bulls on the road, to, to illustrate how good they are on the road, last season marked the fifth straight year of a road record above 500. Incredible consistency as a franchise. Aldridge kicks to Parker. And a great assist by Aldridge as that one goes in. Parker's got the first three points of the night up on the board for the Spurs. Spurs on defense. It's a three-point game. Outside Butler. Outside Gasol. Fader on the way. Here's Noah. And the bucket counts. And he's on his way to the free throw line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Just not enough bodies on the glass right there, and they paid for it. Well, Greg, I know you're a little guy, but you know what it means to box out, and it's an effort thing and a mindset deal. you got to get your body between that other player and the ball. That's good from Joaquin Noah. Yeah, you know, here's another stat for the Bulls on the road. Since 2010, when Tom Thibodeau took over, the Bulls have won almost 60% of their road games. That's impressive. And the call will be against Tony Parker. Second team. That's his first foul. Rose against Parker. San Antonio with the rebound. From deep three-point range. And Leonard gets it to go on the assist by Aldridge. Leonard's got himself going with the triple. His first basket of the game. Outside Butler. Back to Rose. They get a hand on it. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. I mean, San Antonio ball. San Antonio's gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Gasol with the steal. Now here's Rose, the fast break opportunity. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. 
he passes to Butler. And the foul called on Daniel Green. That's his first foul. And it's just hard to imagine the Spurs without Coach Popovich on the sidelines. He's the longest tenured coach in the NBA and has done so much for this team. Easily one of the best coaches in the history of our league. And the call will be against Tony Parker. That'll be his second foul of the game. San Antonio making a switch here. Mills has checked in. On defense, San Antonio. It's a three-point game. Shot clock at six. Tries to keep it alive. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. And Greg, you know, for Popovich being with the Spurs for so long, since 1996, Clark, he is actually the longest tenured coach in all of sports right now. Amazing, Kevin, and he's done it through winning. I mean, the third fastest coach ever to get to 1,000 wins. You compare his numbers with any coach in any sport, and they stack up as Hall of Fame caliber. Here in the first quarter, with about two minutes gone by, now let's find out what head coach Greg Popovich had to say to Doris Burke. Doris? One player he doesn't want to overlook is Pau Gasol. He said Pau has that hook shot that is nearly impossible to guard and that most of their defense on Pau will be centered around denying him the ball and forcing him to catch it away from the basket. We'll see if they can execute that plan, guys. Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. And Green gets it to go. And really, once he got that steal, just really nothing the defense could do. That's why turnovers are so costly because in many cases, they're indefensible once possession changes. Rose, no good. In transition, here comes San Antonio. Mills has got the ball. And how about the grasp they had on the game plan for this one? You know, I know it's early, but I don't think I'm going out on a limb when I say we could be headed for a blowout unless something dramatically changes and fast. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. So for the Bulls. Taj Gibson's checked in for Noah. Irritich comes in for Mike Dunley. And it's Brooks in for Derrick Rose. One fourteen left in the first quarter. For a while, the Spurs were viewed as a slow-it-down team from their championships almost a decade ago. That isn't the case at all anymore. You know, it, I think it took the viewing public quite a while to catch on, though, Kevin, because now most people look at the Spurs as one of the more exciting brands of basketball in our league. Just watching one game of them, and, and now you know that is the case. Joakim Noah, he's checked in for Chicago. You know, for the Spurs playing up-tempo, I mean, they made that adjustment several years back to their credit. Since then, they've been one of the more up-tempo and offensive-minded teams in the league. You could not diagram a better way to open a four. Yeah, I agree. I mean, look at the lead they've jumped out to already. What a start. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Spurs. Well, I'll tell you what, they must have had a good shoot-around because they've been fantastic from long range so far, fellas. And the other thing that's been equally as effective is the fact that they've gotten out on the fast break. A lot of points coming in transition. And some stats to kind of back up the Spurs playing that up-tempo style. They led the league last year in distance traveled as a team. Their players would cover almost 18 miles per game play. That tells you there's tremendous ball movement, but more importantly, body movement. The first one falls. Last season, the Bulls were a tough matchup. Solid margin of victory for them and never looked overwhelmed, Clark. Yeah, you know what? They're a team that's even keeled, the type of team that can win anytime they take the floor. They have a system that works and good talent, and actually excellent talent to make it special. And that combination is a winning one. And he gets the bucket. It's taken them no time to build this lead up. Great first quarter offensively. But no time to relax here. They've got to keep the pressure on with the defense, and I think they've got to try to put this one away early. Now here's Brooks. Now the feed to Miritich. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Brooks. Miritich. And you talk about the Bulls being able to, to beat anybody in the league. They did. <laughs> they did that last season. One of only three teams to register one win against every other team in the league back in 2015. The D has gotten a little lax defending the three-point shot at that end. 
Yeah, three of the last five baskets they've allowed have come from beyond. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. From deep green, and again, it's San Antonio with a three. These defenders are putting up very little resistance to the three-point shot. And it's killing four of the last five mates coming from long range. Here's Duncan. Offensive rebound. Here's Mills. Noah with the block. Now Brooks. Rose goes in. And that's going to do it. Some good defense down the stretch to end the quarter. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead.